With our first process completed, let's deploy and manage our account XML to CSV process. Let's take a look at what makes Boomi the number one integration cloud. With Boomi, you can move, manage, and administer data across all of your applications. Implement faster with a configuration-based UI. Deploy and monitor integrations in the cloud and on-premise. And provide continual innovation available through a true PaaS solution. The add-on provides the ability to have a centralized dashboard to control your integrations throughout your enterprise. With Boomi, you can log into one account online and manage all your integration processes you have running on Atoms across multiple locations anywhere in the world. It's extremely scalable with no single point of failure. For example, larger companies usually have business applications running in different data centers. Rather than installing separate instances of software, you can install our lightweight Atom runtime in each location and have a central view of all the atoms running across your entire enterprise, regardless of where you install the atoms in the world. This slide shows how we deploy to support a cloud to on-premise integration. In Atomsphere, the blue cloud configures and manages the integration. The integration runtime, which moves the data, resides on-premise behind the firewall. The Atom communicates with the applications and all the data moves through the Atom, but does not run through the Atomsphere platform. Again, the Atom only initiates outbound communication to Atomsphere to communicate the status information for centralized monitoring, as well as to check for any Atom updates. This slide illustrates how we deploy to support a cloud to on-premise integration. Atomsphere, the blue cloud, configures and manages the integrations in the cloud. The actual integration runtime which moves the data resides on-premise behind the firewall. The Atom communicates with the applications and the data moves through the Atom, but does not run through the Atomsphere platform. Again, the Atom only initiates outbound communication for Atomsphere to communicate the status for centralized monitoring as well as to check for any Atom updates. In our cloud-to-cloud -cloud integration scenario, the Atom resides inside the Dell Boomi Atom Cloud or another public cloud. So you can have an integration without involvement from your data center. Status.boomi.com displays the health of both the Atom Cloud and the platform. Visit the dashboard to view the latest information on performance and operations. This is what status.boomi.com looks like when everything is running smoothly. From this page, you can verify the status of the Atomsphere platform, the MDM platform, and our Atom Cloud. As soon as our team is aware of an issue, this page changes to show the current status of each. There is also a contact number given to report any issues you're experiencing. We have a statistics page, which will give us all the integrations processed, atoms deployed, mappings indexed, and functions indexed. Also, we have a notifications page, which will tell you about upcoming releases, as well as our release archives. And our status will provide you the status of the Boomi Flow platform. You may be confused deciding whether to install and use a local Atom or a cloud Atom, but it's really quite simple. For demonstration purposes, we'll use the blue arrow to represent a local Atom and the green arrow to represent a cloud Atom. The bottom line is this. A local Atom can get access to all resources, whether they are on-premise to on-premise, which means it's behind the firewall, on-premise to cloud or cloud to on-premise, and cloud to cloud. You can use a cloud atom to get access to resources solely in the cloud and never need to directly connect to resources residing behind the firewall. When discussing atoms, let's briefly address the idea of environments. We create and manage environments in that Manage Atom Management page. 
An environment is a container housing the atom and the deployed processes. A specific atom can attach only to one environment at a time. Now the true power of environments occurs with extensions, which is discussed in later classes. For now, let's just think of an environment as a dedicated deployment setup used to support the different integration development lifecycle phases. Within the environments, we'll attach to a specific atom to control the process runtime. The Boomi Atom Cloud is not attached to an environment yet, so it is listed as unattached in the attached atoms list. Once the environment is set up, we need to attach an atom to the environment. Within the Manage Atom Management tab, we can attach an atom to an environment via the Environment pane. To attach an atom to an environment, simply highlight the environment and click the atom from the attachments as displayed here. The atom is now attached to an environment, so we can attach a process to those same environments. You can attach a process to one or more environments via the Deploy tab. You'll simply highlight the process in the Processes pane. This isn't shown on the screen, but the guide will step you through each screen. Once you have chosen the process you want to deploy, you will then click the Attachments tab. There are two columns, Attached and Unattached Environments. From the Unattached Atoms column, Simply select the environment or environments you want to deploy and click the arrow pointing to the left to attach the environment. Once complete, the selected environment will then appear under the Attached Atoms column. Our next activity demonstrates how to complete the deployment. I'm now going to demonstrate Exercise 16, Create an Environment, and attach an atom, and exercise 17 to deploy the process.